Benedict Carey, How We Learn, The Surprising Truth About When, Where, and Why It Happens. Dive into the fascinating world of learning as we explore Benedict Carey's, How We Learn, The Surprising Truth About When, Where, and Why It Happens. This book will guide you through the intricacies of how our brain stores and retrieves memories and the role of sleep in enhancing our learning capabilities. Uncover the impact of studying environments, discover helpful learning techniques like the spacing effect, and understand the importance of active testing. Get ready to transform your learning process by incorporating these findings into your daily life. Understanding Memory and the Brain Memories are formed through connecting neurons, creating a network of synapses. Synapses grow thicker with each retrieval, leading to faster recall. Different types of memory are stored in different areas of the brain, with new conscious memories formed in the hippocampus and older memories in the neocortex. Memories stored in multiple regions of the brain are recalled more clearly. Sleep and Memory Getting enough sleep is crucial for memory consolidation. Research shows that different stages of sleep are important for different tasks. Early evening sleep helps retain facts, while REM sleep in the early morning hours is essential for creative thinking. In a study comparing memory recall after sleep and no sleep, the sleep group performed significantly better. Understanding the relationship between sleep and memory can help us learn faster and more effectively. Environment and Learning the environment in which we learn affects how we retain information. Our surroundings influence our ability to remember what we study. Environmental cues, such as smells and sounds, can help our brains retrieve the information we've learned when we encounter them again. An experiment showed that participants were able to remember twice as many words when they were tested in the same environment in which they learned. Changing the study environment or routine, such as taking notes by hand or studying in different locations, can help in retaining information. Varying the study environment ensures that information is stored in different parts of the brain, increasing retention. The spacing effect. Are you tired of cramming for exams only to forget the material shortly after? The spacing effect suggests that only by breaking up your study time can you be certain of retaining information over a long period. This approach requires revisiting information at spaced intervals, which strengthens and reinforces your memory. The spacing effect can be likened to getting to know a new neighbor's name. Initially, hearing the name repeated a few times does not guarantee retention. However, recalling the name after a few days reinforces the original memory, making it stick. Instead of dedicating an extended period to study for an upcoming test, the spacing effect recommends dividing the total study time into a few shorter stints and studying over a few days. This technique will help you to better remember the material without dedicating more time than you otherwise would. Active learning for improved knowledge retention. Explaining information to others and testing oneself before learning can improve understanding and memory retention. Reciting information is more effective for memory retention than simply reading information. One way to retain knowledge is by explaining it to another person. This process intensifies the connections between neurons that hold information, making retrieval easier and faster. Testing oneself, even before learning, can improve understanding and recall. When students answered questions related to a future topic before learning it and then compared their answers with the results at the end of the semester, they scored 10% higher on related questions. These findings show the efficacy of active learning in retaining knowledge. Productivity through interruptions. Procrastination is a habit that is easy to avoid. Completing a project over a more extended period allows room for interruption and learning. Interrupted projects are retained better in memory, leading to new ideas. Interruptions let go of fixed assumptions and perspective, helping to see the problem from a new angle. Breaks help come up with solutions out of nowhere. The idea that starting and finishing a project at once is most efficient may not be valid after all. According to a study, completing a task over a more extended period leaves room for interruption and is optimal for learning. 
These interruptions allow your mind to think freely and develop fresh ideas, helping cement what you have learned to memory. In fact, it is better to allow for interruption when working on a project, making new connections and recalling forgotten insights. Interrupted projects are even better retained in memory, leading to new ideas. Furthermore, taking a break when trying to solve a problem can lead to new insights. Interruptions let go of fixed assumptions and perspectives, thereby helping to view the project with new eyes. Breaks offer an opportunity to rejuvenate our mind and come up with solutions to our problems without even thinking about them. Therefore, the next time you are working for an extended period, remember that taking a break can positively impact your productivity. Allow yourself to interrupt your projects, and you might just come up with new ideas. Varied repetition for effective learning. Research shows that varied repetition is a more effective learning technique than a narrow focus. The advantage of adding variation to your training is that it better prepares you for unexpected situations. In a study, children who were taught to toss a beanbag to multiple targets performed better than the group who practiced only with one target. The variation caused them to develop a general throwing ability that could be applied to any target. It intensifies the gains made through repetition. Similarly, students can apply varied repetition to their schoolwork, such as studying geometry in various contexts instead of just reading about the Pythagorean theorem. This technique will equip them to manage unfamiliar exam questions that require them to use the theorem in different situations. Perceptual learning, making sound snap judgments. Perceptual learning is the key to making quick decisions, and it's not a skill we're born with. It's the ability to respond to our environment and focus on the important information only. With enough time and training, we can become experts and develop our perceptual intuition. Just like experienced pilots, we can differentiate and filter out unnecessary information from what we need to know by using perceptual learning modules. These modules are pictures or videos that help us make snap decisions from a particular set of stimuli. For example, using these modules, medical students can intuitively identify dermatological problems. If we apply these models to our studies, we too can start building our perceptual intuition. As we reach the conclusion of the captivating journey through how we learn, we have explored several key takeaways to enrich our learning experiences. We better understand the formation and storage of memories within our brains, the vital role of sleep in memorization, and the significance of environmental cues. Furthermore, we have learned various practical techniques, such as the spacing effect, active testing, embracing interruptions, varied repetition, and perceptual learning, to boost our information retention and help us succeed. By acknowledging and implementing the insights gathered from this book, we can optimize our learning process and unleash our full intellectual potential.